Hey guys, I'm bringing you the summary. It's three o'clock here in Maine, Eastern Standard Time. The plumber's still here. Please pray because it could be very expensive. Um, listen, the biggest news out of Iraq this morning that I that I said at nine o'clock a.m. Eastern Time was that, that the Iraqis Parliamentary Finance Committee met with the Central Bank of Iraq today to discuss monetary policy, the banking system, and ways to increase the value of the Iraqi dinar. That was a big boom. I gave you more details because now when I pull up the article now at three o'clock, it doesn't give you all the details. It just gives you the highlight, that one line. If you want to know the details, you could either go to my live stream and watch it fast forward to about, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes and start watching. If you don't want the God stuff, God's word today was prepare to cross over. So I'm excited. Um, and then, you know, there were other things that I did on my shorts to get you the news as fast as possible. Okay. So Sam and is doing his best. He had some problems with his internet this morning, but he still got on and participated in our live stream. So you might want to join us. Um, and he said he's still having trouble with the internet. It, it, he sent a different format. And then he sent some songs that he thought I might like. But guys, that was the biggest news out of Iraq that they are meeting. Like I said before, that can happen during Ramadan. The, the government still goes forward, even though the people are on break for a month during Ramadan. When's the last time you had a month long holy break? I wish I did, but we don't get that here in America. But I wish we did. I know um, God set up several feasts for his people. Anyways, um, so here's the other summaries. I'm doing it as of now. I'm pulling it up now to give you what everybody else is saying. I guess uh, Newshound Guru BGG article quote, the Iraqi government is currently weighing the question of changing the currency. That's what I just said, but I said it at 9 a.m. Not to, I'm not, I'm just reading the summaries, guys. It always seems to get tossed around during election season, like a lot of things here. Furthermore, how they decide to get from 1320 to 1 or 132 to 1 is another story entirely. Everyone will get all excited when in reality, even this is a legit move, it could still go 20 different ways. I agree. Ray Ren 98. So some agreements were met last night. Let's see where that takes us for later today. That was today. Mountain Goat. Don't be discouraged. The currency reform and banking process has come a very long way in a very short period. I agree. Since January 2023, compared to waiting since 2011. I've been waiting since 2012, around June. How about you? Please comment down below how long you've been in. When the plan originated with the International Monetary Fund, the IMF, on how to turn the currency back on. So we went 11 years without much progress and suddenly a huge jump, which tells us something is up. This alone is all telling. If Iraq is to progress, as they say their goal, they will need they will need a globally recognized and traded currency once again and very soon. I agree. Everything points to this thing is done. God told me it was done about a year and a half ago, and I've been preparing. Then this morning, his word was, prepare to cross over into your personal promised land. So are you preparing to cross over? I've got strategies, three steps to a safe exchange. If you want that, it's $55. I will put the links down below and how you go about paying me. But don't forget to send me the email, because otherwise, if I don't have your email, I don't have your email. There's one such person right now. I'm going to call out your name. I don't have your email, Carolyn Henderson. You paid me on Cash App. Then I asked you for a dollar and said, I need your email. And you can email me at this link. And you sent me the dollar, but didn't send me an email. So I'm still waiting on you. I've got that stuff ready to go. When you're ready, let me know. I hope you see this. Um, so Mark Z said, the calls out of Iraq have been phenomenal. A couple of sources, they are reaffirming that everything is finished on their side. They're waiting for the U.S. Treasury assistance to release. What do you think? Do you think the U.S. Treasury needs to release it or the Central Bank of Iraq needs to release it? I don't know. What do you think? Uh, they have told me it could be any moment to a couple of weeks, but they expect it very soon. But they stress that their end is done. Amen. Thank you, Mark. Frank 26, I've always said that when it would happen, it would be from a Saturday night when you're asleep to when you wake up on Sunday morning. Uh, Saturday into Sunday is what he's always said. Sunday into Monday is illogical because that's the second day of the week. I agree with him because their Sabbath is Friday to Saturday, just like the Jewish people that still celebrated here in the United States. It's Friday to Saturday is their holy days, and then Sunday is their first day of the week. So Monday would be their second day of week. What do you think? Comment down below. Um, Pimpy, I hold, I hold millions of dinar, and people act like I don't want the 322 exchange rate with the currency. No, 
Pimpy doesn't like it. He doesn't believe in it. What the hell are you talking about? I agree with you, Pimpy. You got to defend yourself at some point, right? Um, he said, I own millions of dinars. Nothing would make me more happier than them to jump to a 30-22 rate and keep the same notes we got now. Yeah, Pimpy's in this. He just brings a different perspective, so appreciate him for his perspective. That's just my opinion. I like to appreciate all perspectives. I also appreciate all spiritual backgrounds, all spiritual, you know, I think all the science and everything proves the existence of an intelligent design. Comment down below if you agree. We are intelligently designed by a loving creator who loves us all individually. Um, I also am a mix of my Native American background of all my ancestors uh, over my family are passed away. So I don't have any actual access to their teachings. But I'm a Christ follower because Jesus Christ is the one who showed up in my Jeep February 22nd of 2000. If you want more about that, please subscribe, tap the bell. I share my stare, my testimony often because we all should be sharing our testimonies because this is the end times. If you think this is the end times, please um, subscribe and tap the bell because I'm a believer. Newshound Guru, Guru Claire article, Al Sistani, the beginning of the month of Ramadan is Tuesday. It doesn't matter. You see what they're doing today. This is Thursday. Um, Sandy Ingram, OPEC members agreed to extend voluntary production cuts by 2.2 million barrels per day in the second quarter of the year. Iraq is going to lose a lot of money because of that. But is OPEC, is OPEC bricks? I don't know. What do you think? Comment down below. Um, I don't think it matters, right? Because I'm just saying we have a much stronger currency and look at our situation. Um, you know, I love my country, but it, we got a lot of problems. We should not be, you know, it's like the pot calling the kettle black, right? Uh, Militia Man article, economic, ec economics website, a new application enhances the investment movement in Iraq. He was talking about there's a new index called RSISX total return, compares currency exchange rate currencies and the returns achieved. It's not surprising that they have a new RSISX Total returns index for currency exchange rate changes with Al Sadani's government mentioning a dollar thirty-two dinars to the dollar yesterday. And then today we see, but there's talk of smaller donations, small enough to make a $250 note or 250 dinar note, right? Um, put all this with the new index, suggest that they're ready for a change to come. I agree with you, militia man. I agree with you. It's gonna open up and everybody's gonna say, oh my gosh, I can't believe that actually happened. Uh, Frank 26. While we're rejoicing, right? I'll be praising God because he's the one who got, the Holy Spirit got me into this and gave me this prophetic gift to tell everybody it's done and prepare. And today he said, prepare to cross over. Now I've helped a lot of people prepare with my three steps to a safe exchange. I'm just excited. If you're excited, comment down below. Uh, Frank 26, the banks are not saying as much as much that it's a scam. If you hear someone say it's a scam, it's probably someone at the very front of the line, like millennials that may staff the branches. Nothing wrong with millennials, but when they're staffing the branches, they're not that knowledgeable about things of the world. They got participation trophies, right? I'm not casting dispersions. I love my young folk. I met some great young people, you know, at the coffee shop yesterday, and I shared that on my Margarita's Mysteries last night. Um, anyways, he goes, but once you get past them, they're finding JP Morgan representatives at every Chase Bank, it seems like. Perfect timing, right? He, and he's got a lot of bank stories. Um, let's see. Now we're going to go. Yeah, that was yesterday's news. I covered all that. Um, they were talking about all the different things. There's been a lot of people seeing older videos that talked about seeing 237 live on Forex. That was USD to IQD, which presents a very different picture. The rates are all over the screens. There are all sorts of things going on because they're getting ready to release this thing. That's what you see when it's about to happen. They're never going to tell you, oh, it's going to happen because they're legally prevented from saying that. Just like if you call any of the publicly traded banks, they're not legally able to tell you that this is going to happen, right? They just can't talk about it until after it happens. Once it happens, all banks will be released to talk about it right? If you're in a Chase Bank and you're getting positive because they want your business and they already have a procedure set up to make you go through the process that the government has put in place for you. So if you want to go that way, go for it. If not, email me. Bye. God bless.